low frequency response of an amplifier we have already discussed in our previous lecture about high frequency response of an amplifier which is similar to response of uh, low pass filter now we are discussing response of amplifier in the range of low frequency we can see this is the complete response of an amplifier this is magnitude um, this is frequency scale we can see that uh, this particular portion is high frequency response this is low frequency response and this one is middle frequency response so we are discussing here low frequency response of an amplifier and uh, the equivalent circuit for low frequency response of amplifier is this one here c1 and r1 let us try to get vo divided by vi here how we will get this is r1 divided by r1 plus 1 upon sc1 how can we write we can divide by r1 and we can write 1 plus 1 upon sc1 r1 we can further simplify av as 1 upon 1 plus 1 s equal to j omega omega is 2 pi f c1 and r1 and in fact we can uh, take value as r2 and c2 because in that case we have taken r1 and c1 so here we can write r2 r2 c2 c2 r2 c2 and r2 that is better so that we can differentiate otherwise there would be confusion so this is the magnitude uh, of gain of this particular circuit when vi is input signal and vo is output signal now again if uh, this is a low frequency response so cutoff frequency will be towards low frequency side so let us assume that fl which is 3 db cutoff frequency 1 upon 2 pi r2 and c2 and if you replace this 1 upon 2 pi r2 c2 by fl then how what the magnitude can be written magnitude will be written as 1 upon 1 minus j fl divided by f because j if this is in denominator when we write in the numerator it will become minus j j into j j square and upper side there will be j so minus j fl upon f what will be magnitude the magnitude will be it will be 1 upon square root of 1 plus fl divided by f square now let us uh, find out the three values different values first case when f equal to 0 what is the magnitude of gain when substitute f equal to 0 it becomes infinite and the oldest gain magnitude is equal to 0 second case we can see that when we substitute f equal to fl f equal to fl what will be magnitude the magnitude of gain is equal to 1 upon root 2 and thirdly when f tending to infinity when this frequency goes very very high what will happen this tends to infinity so this term will uh, be becoming will become zero and therefore the oldest gain that is magnitude of gain will tends towards unity how can we draw the response can we draw the response of the circuit or this case yes magnitude versus magnitude versus frequency how will we draw this is frequency axis and this is the gain what is the value of gain for f equal to 0 0 what is this 1 upon root 2 at f equal to fn and finally it becomes 1 when f is tending to infinity what is the uh, the, the nature of plot the nature of plot will be as we can see the expression it will be parabolically increasing so how will we plot this the plot will be like this see that this one where it will become in uh, one we don't know when f is tending to infinity this becomes one so the maximum possible value is one and wherever one upon root two that is maximum one upon root two times of maximum value that frequency is known as fl or we write it as fl 3 db 3 db cutoff frequency in last lecture i mean the lecture related to a high frequency response we have already discussed why this is called as 3 db cutoff frequency because at that frequency gain is reduced by 3 db when we convert in db 
the gain is decreased by 3 dB at that frequency and this is since in the lower side what we call lower 3 dB cutoff frequency and this is the response we can see here in the complete response of an amplifier this is the response of the amplifier at low frequency and one more observation we can see here is when we are moving towards lower frequency see here when we are moving towards lower frequency side then the gain is reducing and when we are moving towards higher frequency gain is become unity and gain is become unity what does it indicate it indicates that vo divided by vi it is equal to 1 it means the input signal is pass to the output signal completely when we are at high frequency range and therefore sometimes the low frequency response of an amplifier what we call it as response of HPF response of HPF this is the response of high pass filter high pass filter why because this circuit is passing all the high frequency signals and low frequency signals are getting attenuated being attenuated and when we study, when we uh, see both the responses, low frequency response as well as high frequency response of an amplifier, and when we combine these two, the response becomes like this. And finally, what we conclude, we can observe that in the low frequency response, low frequency signals are attenuated. In high frequency response, we have studied that high frequencies are attenuated. So in between, what happens? That the middle frequency is passed by the amplifier and sometimes and therefore actually we call uh, amplifier as band pass filter it passes in fact it amplifies and pass passes the band of signals a range of frequencies is being passed is passed and amplified by the device we call amplifier as band pass filter so this is about uh, the low frequency response of an amplifier where there is a lower cutoff frequency and this response is similar to the response of high pass filter and we have studied now high pass filter, high frequency response as well as low frequency response. And this in the present case is the response of uh, amplifier at low frequency. We call this response as low frequency response of an amplifier. The complete response includes amplitude response as well as phase response. We have not discussed, we have not included our uh, discussion about uh, phase response here. We have limited. Uh, our, our, our discussion to only amplitude response of an amplifier at low frequency. Thank you.